invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a new comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carol Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. <laughs> A year ago, when Luigi Basco left Italy to start his new life in America, he promised his mother that he would write and tell her about his adventures. So now, let's read Luigi's letter as he writes to Mama Basco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia, weather here in Chicago is very nice now. All over, I'm going to see signs of a spring. One of the biggest signs is to say... Ring is a hiss, so get to you 5,000 a mile of checkup. <laughs> of course, this is don't mean to me. Since I'm in America, I'm going to have to walk a 5,000 a mile. <laughs> but even though the weather is a beautiful, I'm not going to enjoy it too much because of my landlord, Pasquale. He's got the one bad habit. Every month, he's asking for the rent. <laughs> But I'm got a bad habit to too, Mamma Mia. Every month I'm not gonna pay it. <laughs> Maybe I should have changed my business. Last week I'ma have a good chance, but I'm not to take advantage. Fell in the street, he's a walk up to me and he's a say, Hey, Bub, I'm got a good deal for you. How do you like to buy the Wrigley building at 25 floors for ten dollars? <laughs> And I'm going to tell him nothing to do. And what am I going to do with so much a tuna gum? <laughs> Anyways, it look like a trouble for me. Because if Pasquale is to say, if I'm going to pay my four months of rent, I'm going to have to marry his daughter, Rosha. <laughs> Mamma mia, that the girl is a fat. <laughs> Two weeks ago, Pasquale is a making me take a Rosa to a dance. It was a terrible experience. Now I know how the captain of the Queen of Mary is a field when he's a try to steer his a ship into the dock. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm a sitting here worrying when a suddenly the door is open up and I'm a feel a cold breeze under my neck. Luigi, my friend. Hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. <laughs> Pasquale, I'm a sorry. If you come for the rent, the money, I'm a still no got it. Rent, the rent, the rent, the money, money, money. Luigi, you think all I'm going to think about all the time is the money? Don't answer that. <laughs> because you're wrong. In fact, Luigi, today I'm going to change your whole life. I'm going to open up a bank account for you for $5,000. You're going to do this for me? But why? Because I'm going to love you, you little pumpkin head. <laughs> Always do you think I'm going to got an interior motive. Don't you think that somebody could love you just for yourself? I'm a sorry, Pasquale. Yep, but tomorrow I'm opening up for you a $5,000 of joint account. Joint account? Sure. Don't you think it's a right that Rosa should be able to use her husband's savings? <laughs> but, Pasquale, Rosa is not to get a husband. <laughs> Hello, my son. <laughs> Is there nothing to do, Pasquale? Oh, Luigi, you know how I'm a feel about you. All of my life, I'm always to say, if I ever have a grandchild, I hope he's a look like a Luigi. Well, thank you, Pasquale. But well, that's not possible unless I'm a married to Rosa. I accept your proposal. <laughs> no, no, Pasquale, please, don't accept it. <laughs> I didn't propose you. Louis, you're a sensible business man. Besides giving you $5,000, I'm going to do something else for you. Every time a roast is to have a bambino, I'm going to give you another $100. No, Pasquale. Oh, you want a bargain, eh? All right, the $200 a bambino. No. Two fifty, and that's my ceiling of price. <laughs> Pasquale, the answer is it's still enough. Luigi, don't you want to be a millionaire? Not the that way. <laughs> Pasquale, I'm a hate to hurt your feelings. Your daughter, she's a finer girl. But I'm a no in a lover with her. You're lying at the lover. It's a too much to study. <laughs> Pasquale, she's a weight 250 pounds. 
And that's a that? No, that's a fat. <laughs> Luigi, she's a no fat. I'm a read in a set in a magazine that for her height and for her type of bones, Rosa is a way normal at a 250 pounds. <laughs> Well, what's the magazine you read this in? Cattle and a Beef for Gazette. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. Luigi, the only reason you think a rose is a fat is because you're so skinny. What? The... Sure. When you're looking on a rose, it's what they call an obstacle illusion. <laughs> you're so right, Pasquale. She's the biggest obstacle I've ever seen. <laughs> It's a funny thing, and when I'm saying it, it's come out a different. <laughs> Luigi, you listen to me. Here's what the trouble is. You weigh 135 now, but if you was a way to say about 175, and if a Rosa would weigh 185, wouldn't it be so bad, eh? Pasquale is not possible. I oh, know. I've been thinking about this. I make a deal with you. You put on a weight, the Rosa's a take off a weight. How you like it if a Rosa was to drop a 50 pounds? I'm a heck to be underneath. <laughs> Just to take you, Luigi, if a Rosa was to lose uh, uh, 51 pounds, she's away 199. You marry her, then you can go around and say to everybody, my wife, she's away only uh, 100 and uh, something. But well, it isn't no use. I'm a no marry Rosa. All right, you little pauper. You're not going to pay me four months of rent. You always a broker. I brought you to America. I'm going to charge you. You know I can send you back to Italy by reporting you to the OPA? <laughs> OPA? Yes. Office for Poor Aliens. <laughs> I think I'm going to call him up right now. No, wait, Pasquale. Don't call the Office of a Poor Alien. No? How's it possible... I should have gained so much, and a Rosa should have lost so much. Oh, you're willing to listen now, eh? Well, you leave with me. I make a deal with you. I starve a Rosa, I stuff for you. <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks from today, you both the weigh yourselves here on a scale. If you don't put on a weight, and a Rosa don't take off, you don't owe me a penny rent. But uh, but if you weigh 175, and a Rosa's weigh 185, then, uh, then you marry Rosa. So? So stop talking so much and make up your mind. You make a deal with me? Or maybe you want I should make a deal with OPA. What do you say, my son? Hello, Papa. <laughs> This is a night school class, not a kindergarten. Now I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? A present. Mr. Horowitz? Present. Mr. Olson? Present. Mr. Schultz? I am pleased to announce that not only am I here, but I'm in attendance, ready, willing, and able. I thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Schultz, can't you just say that one simple word, present? Yeah. I am pleased to announce that I'm not only here, but I'm in attendance, ready, willing, and able. I thank you. Present. <laughs> oh, well. Now, class, I... Mr. Basco, I can't believe my eyes. Are you chewing on a turkey leg? No, 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 no. What's the matter with you, Luigi? You, you ain't saying a word. You're crazy, Ocean. He just said a mouse word. <laughs> Mr. Basco, stop it immediately. You know better than to eat in class. Why are you doing it? Well, you see, Mrs. Spalding, I'm got a gain of 50 pounds. Him with that jerky leg must be heavier than it looks. <laughs> well, why do you have to gain so much weight? Well, you see, Mrs. Spalding, I'm make a deal with the Pasquale. If in a two weeks the rose is a loser weight, then I'm a gain of weight, and we both the weigh almost the same, then I don't have to pay four months of rent, and I marry Rose. Tabasco, the whole thing sounds full of complications. Complications? The patient is dead. <laughs> I wouldn't worry, Mr. Basco. Putting on and taking off so much weight in two weeks is nothing short of fantastic. Still, I don't trust Pasquale, that snake in the grasshopper. <laughs> Luigi, I'm going to protect you. You tell him that in two weeks I'm going to be there to read that scale. It's going to be honest. For the first time in my life, I'm not going to use my thumb. <laughs> no, good for you, Schultz. I will be there, too. Uh, thanks, Olsen, and you, too, Schultz. Thanks for your help. 
You think I'm going to have to marry Rosa? Oh, smile, Luigi. you got nothing to worry about. You know, I once knew a couple. The wife weighed 250 pounds. The husband weighed only 75. They both went on a diet. The wife ate nothing but them Chiron reducing pills. And in two weeks, she lost 90 pounds. Schultz, what's happening to the husband? He disappeared completely. <laughs> For the second act of Luigi Vasco's Adventures in Chicago, we turn to page two of his letter to his mother in Italy. And it's so, Mamma Mia, it's now 11 days since Pasquale has started stuffing me with the food. All day long, he's a feeding me. Eat, eat, eat. Seven meals a day, and in between the meals, is more meals. <laughs> Now I'm going to know what a turkey is a feel like three days before Thanksgiving. <laughs> the last time I'm away myself, I see him again at 20 pounds. And I'm me, I'm getting a little worried. Rosie is starting to look good to me. <laughs> Poor Rosa, I'm a pity her. Pasquale is a starving her to death. Yesterday she's a cry to me how hungry she is. So I'm going to tell her, Rosa, don't be foolish. Go take a bite out of the icebox. <laughs> Before I'm going to stop her, she's eat half of the handle. <laughs> Pasquale, he's tried to tell me that Ross has already lost the 34 pounds off of the front. But I don't know. What she's losing in the front, I think she's finding in the back. <laughs> Oh, I've been eating her so much. Hey, Luigi, what are you wasting the time of writing a letter when you're supposed to be eating? Pasquale, I'm going to finish everything you brought to me. Oh, good. Now, let me see. Uh, what did you eat? Uh, four plates of spaghetti, uh, five of pork chops, uh, three loaves of bread, uh, two pounds of butter, uh, six a dozen of ravioli. And the three vegetables, the mashed potatoes, the fried potatoes, and the baked potatoes. <laughs> well, that's enough. That's enough for Pasquale? Sure, that's enough for, for the appetizer. <laughs> now, what else do you like to have? A doctor. Huh? <laughs> Pasquale, I'm feeling sick. I'm no can understand why. Maybe I should have fed you another plate of spaghetti to push it down to the pork chop. <laughs> No, Pasquale, please, please, I'm eating enough for food. Never say you eat enough. You remember our deal. You've got a three more days to go. Luigi, you should have seen you blushing a bride to be. She's become skinny like a bird, lovely to look on. She's a really a sight. <laughs> that I cannot believe. <laughs> All right, Luigi, I call her. You see for yourself. Rosa! 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 <laughs> well, Luigi, look at her. I'm a look. <laughs> you can hardly see her, eh? I don't know, Pasquale. To me, is it still an obstacle illusion? <laughs> Oh, stop, Luigi. You know she's as skinny like a toothpick. A toothpick is more like a lumber yard. <laughs> <laughs> ah! ah! Hey, Rosie, why are you standing like that? Why are you no laugh? I'm empty inside. Empty is a good for you. That's a vitamin E. <laughs> now, Rosie, get your mind off of food or go to sleep. I can't sleep. If you can't sleep, count the sheep. Who counts sheep? I count lamb chops. <laughs> Rosa, I'm doing all of this for you. You've got to stop thinking about it. I can't, Papa. Everything looks like food. Don't stop for that. Look at your bridegroom, Luigi. He's getting me so nice and fat. <laughs> Don't he look good? Yeah. 
He looks like a big hot dog. <laughs> Pleasure, Pasquale. Hide the jar of mustard and take her out of the story. She's a making me nervous. Stop for that, Rosa. You make her Luigi nervous, he's a loser weight. Look how nice and a plump he's getting. I'm a fattening him up for you. Ooh. Stop for licking your chops. He's not ready yet. <laughs> oh, Pasquale, have a pity. Give her a cracker. Just a little sunshine of biscuit. That's not the fattening. No, yesterday I'm going to give her a little sunshine of biscuit. Today the box is a missing. <laughs> Come, Rosa, is it time for you reducing exercise? And you, Luigi, I'm having some food ready for you in a few minutes. You come into the restaurant. Pasquale, I'm a tinker. Stop! But don't use your head too much. That's a waste of fat. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, my son. Mamma mia. Another meal. I'm a feel like the 4th of July firecracker just before it's explode. <laughs> Hello, Luigi. Luigi, my fellow boob. <laughs> hello, Schultz. Hello, Olsen. Yeah, we were just passing. Himmel, what you look like. For a shrimp, you're becoming a blimp. <laughs> I know, Schultz. You think I'm a look like a pig? I don't know. Luigi, do you wake up in the middle of the night and oink? <laughs> Schultz, please, it's not time, it's a joke. I'm a gotta go through with it. Well, excuse me now, I'm a gotta go next door. Pasquale's a got some more food awaiting for me. I hope he's not making me eat any more potato a la mode. <laughs> potato a la mode? What's that? Bake the potato with a boiled potato on the top. <laughs> What are we going to do to save that honest little dumb cop? Sure, I don't know. I wish we could help him. L Luigi looks thick to me. Oh, yeah, he does look thick. Luigi! Wait, wait, wait. That's a good idea. We're going to get a doctor, and he's going to tell Luigi he's got to stop eating to save his health. But Schultz, what doctor is going to say a thing like that to Luigi? Oh, who's talking about a real doctor? I get lefty from the pool room. <laughs> oh, Schultz, you had a clever lad. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Why do you think my ears are sticking out all the time? <laughs> because I got a big brain pushing them. <laughs> oh, 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 furthermore, I just got another other idea. Tonight, I'm going to go see Rosa. That girl must be so hungry. Oh, my God. Mr. Schultz, why did you ask me to go walking? Well, Rosa, I just wanted to find out what you need for a wedding present. A loaf of bread, maybe? <laughs> Just smell that fresh air. Makes you hungry, no? Oh, my goodness, my goodness. Leave some oxygen for the rest of the night. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, my papa's starving me. Yeah, I know how you feel, Rosa. But I agree with him. You mustn't eat a thing. But I look like a skeleton. Yeah. <laughs> Tell your skeleton I ever seen. Uh, <laughs> excuse me, Rosa. I, I gotta step into my delicatessen for a minute. Come inside with me, huh? I don't think my papa's gonna like this. Yeah, everything looks so tempting. But you mustn't, you mustn't think about it, no. Ooh, ooh, I just remembered. I gotta go back to get something from my apartment. Uh, Rosa, uh, would you mind to watch the store a minute? Sure, Mr. Schultz. Now, remember, the salami is hanging over there. Oh, no. Yeah, the potato salad and the shop liver are dripping by the counter. Oh, no. And the can openers are laying in a box by the beautiful sour pickles. Oh, no. But remember, Rosa, don't touch a thing. <laughs> Kavale, what is going on in your store here? Olsen is a bring of this a crazy doctor and he's to tell Luigi he must stop eating. Just a second, Bob. <laughs> I don't care what you say against me personal. 
But don't malinger the entire profession of medication and analgesic. <laughs> uh, sure, sir. You know what this is, doctor, is Sam is suffering from? From what? Inflammation of the basal metabolism. <laughs> what do you mean? That's terrible. Doctor, tell me. Is he going to live? Well, uh, only uh, temporarily. <laughs> Make sure we don't stop breathing. That's sometimes fatal. <laughs> that's the one I'm going to do. You must have saved me. Don't worry. Just stop eating. Fortunately, we got a new one to drug. Uh, pencil linen. <laughs> you see, that's twice as strong as diptychakis. <laughs> because this pencil linen contains pure lead. Doctor, <laughs> doctor, where am I can get this a pencil linen? I'll give you a prescription. Have it filled in any stationery store. <laughs> it's a good thing you come, Doctor. Pasquale, I'm not going to eat no more. I'm going on a hunger strike. Listen a little, man. Are you going to eat and gain weight till you bust? Are you going to marry my Rosa? Besides, I'm not believing this man is a doctor. I'm going to take he's a fake. Oh, yeah? Uh, here, come here. I'll show you something. Take a look at this label on the inside of my coat. Hmm? What does it say? Army surplus. <laughs> I know. What does it say after that? Made in a Baltimore. And what does it say after that? MD. That's true, I'm a doctor. <laughs> Luigi is no fair. Two days, you know it anything. You don't touch a drop of steak. You broke your word. Pasquale, I'm going to like to break my word, but as a doctor's orders, I'm going to rest to my stomach. All right. Send your stomach to Florida. You stay here in America. <laughs> Luigi, I'm a terrible disappointment to you. I'm a hate to do this, but maybe it's the best I report you to OPA. Oh, please, Pasquale. I'm going to broke my word. The doctor is telling me to stop eating. You don't want me to die, huh? I don't care what you do as long as you marry Rosa. <laughs> Poor girl is a starving herself. Miss Quelly, wait. Could it be I'm still away a lot? If by tomorrow Rosa is away under 200 pounds, I'm still going to marry her. How's it that? Is it that affair? That's all I'm going to hear. Now I'm going to go back to my store and break the good news into my little pigeon. Rosa, come here. Yes, Papa. Rosa, I know it was a hard on you, this whole thing, but you such a good girl. The last a few days, you know, even complaining no more. All you do is go for nice, long walks. You just <laughs> quietly wasted away. Papa, you think Luigi's going to marry me? Yes, it's to take a longer time, but this time I think we finally make it. Step on the scale, my little sparrow. All right, Papa. <laughs> Rosa, you broke the scale. You put on a weight. You've been eating. It's not my fault, Papa. Schultz trapped me with his delicatessen. <laughs> what? Oh, that is Schultz. So that's why you took a longer walk. Rosa, how could you? You trade in a Luigi for a salami. <laughs> well, the Pasquale's are going to have the last to laugh. I got my own ideas. Tomorrow, I'm going to fix up my own special scale. What? Yeah, I'm going to fix the scale myself. Are you going to weigh what I want? That Schultz is going to find out is there's more ways than one to skin a cat. Papa, you going to skin me? Oh, shut up, you <laughs> <man. laughs> And so, ladies and gentlemen, to the witnesses, this bargain was made between me and Luigi two weeks ago. He's a promise to put on a weight, the roses to take off a weight, they come near each other, they get married. And tonight, I'm going to win my bargain. But remember, Pasquale, I'm going to charge the scale. That's all right, Mr. Delicatessen, man. You judge. I'm no afraid. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I announce the contestant. In this corner, Wayne Himmelnoldbach. Himmelnoldbach. 
Und in this corner, weak und emaciated because he went on a hunger strike, Dr. Daughter. Luigi! We're gonna weigh Luigi now. Luigi, are you ready? Yes, Sir Schultz. All right, Olsen and Horowitz, you carry him over and put him on the scale. <laughs> Pasquale, please, don't stand so close to the scale. Don't worry, Mr. Delicatessen, a man. Well, now I'm going to weigh it, Luigi. Luigi weighs <laughs> him 198. <laughs> Mamma mia, I never thought I'd put on it so much weight. Oh, it's hard to believe. Scales is a no lie. Now weigh Rosa. Luigi, you got nothing to worry about. Just look at her. <laughs> now, Rosa, come here. And Pasquale, will you please move away from that scale? All right, all right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, watch carefully. Rosa, step on the scale. Rosa weighs 112. <laughs> <laughs> that girl must be filled with helium. <laughs> My son, I want everybody should have a glass of wine and drink it to this a happy couple. Drink, everybody. Everybody's got to have a drink. It's only 20 cents a glass. <laughs> well, Luigi, you're finally going to be marrying a Rosa. How does it feel? Terrible. Ho, oh, oh. ho! The happy bridegroom has got a sense of humor. Hey, Rosa, why you don't drink? Papa, I don't want to marry Luigi. Huh? Why do you talk? You marry him right now. I don't want to. You're crazy. For two weeks, I'm a suffer and a struggle of taking a weight off of you, putting a weight on him. Now you weigh 112, he's weigh 198. You don't want to marry him. Why? Because he's too fat for me. So, Mamma Mia, serves the Pasquale right for what he's a do to me. But everything is a turn out to good. Like Uncle Pietro is always a say, is an ill wind that the blows the nose of good. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Mamma Mia, I'm not married to Rosa. So I still look at a sign this letter. He are a loving son and a not the son in the law, Luigi Pasco de la Limagra. <laughs> production and was written by Mac Benoff and Lou Derman and directed by Mac Benoff. J. Carol Nash has starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conrad as Schultz, and Mary Ship as Miss Spalding. Music is under the direction of Lynn Murray. Life with Luigi will be heard again two weeks from tonight. Next Sunday night, Bing Crosby, Bob Hope, Claudette Colbert, and Dinah Shore, plus Der Bingle's four sons, all come to CBS for a special one-hour show celebrating the return of baseball to the American scene. So be sure to listen. And now a special announcement. Radio's leading daytime show, the Arthur Godfrey Hour, comes to you every day, Monday through Friday, on most of these same stations. And when we say hour... We mean a full 60 minutes of music, song, and Godfrey's uninhibited, unrehearsed Huck Finn humor. Hear the Arthur Godfrey Hour tomorrow. It's a usually high point in daytime listening. And tomorrow, being Monday, you will find it's bonus day, too, for Godfrey will be around again in the evening with his talent scout show on most of these stations. Bob Stevenson speaking. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.